today on Florida Sport Fishing. Oh, lob on a jig, baby. Monster Amberjack. You know what? You say game over. Done. Game <laughs> over. Yeah. Ho ho, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, got one on, got one on. <laughs> There's a sailfish, I already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Rugged Shark, technical footwear designed for angling and boating enthusiasts. Ocean LED, for quality, high-performance underwater lighting, turn to Ocean LED. Oh, two on, right there. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. Oh, that's you, never mind. Is that a king? No, no Benita. Benita. We're doing a little bit of vertical jigging today, <laughs> starting off on some wrecks, North Miami here. Just gonna spend a day really just working these jigs on a variety of different pieces of structure and a variety of different depths and work our way all the way back up the beach. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, I love jigging. And just got set up on our first wreck. And we just got clobbered. You got a bonita too? Yep. Big triple, bonitas. Triple bony. Big summertime bonitas. These things are so much fun to catch on jigs on the appropriate tackle. Plenty of action. They fight like crazy. They slam those jigs with a vengeance. This is absolutely my favorite way to catch these fishes on these vertical jigs. Might have to get us back on that spot again. You know, the key with this jigging is you just gotta keep that jig moving through the water. You know, don't kill yourself. You don't have to go really, really erratic, but you want it moving through the water. You know, darting as you're constantly turning that handle and again it's a really awesome tactic because you can catch all sorts of bottom fish midwater pelagics and like i said i mean if you're looking for action if you're looking to get kids on a hot bite you don't have a lot of bait maybe or no bait at all come out here with a couple rods a few vertical jigs and you can stay tight all day as far as i'm concerned these are one of the most underrated game fish in florida right here Certainly very poor table fare, but when it comes to pulling power, speed, action, absolutely a ton of fun in the summertime here. Absolutely beautiful coloration on that thing up on the shoulders. That purple sheen, super aggressive. One of the greatest predators right there. One of the most important forage species as well. Just about every game fish eats bonitas. Kingfish, wahoo, tunas, billfish, of course. So to see a healthy bonita population means a healthy game fish population. Oh my God. See? Dude, that is the best part of vertical see jigging. See what happens? Is that bite. It's just working that jig from the bottom up and it's just getting slammed. It's like hitting a brick wall. If that isn't fun, I don't know what is. Oh, I had him hooked backwards, tail wrap. One thing's for sure, like you said, without the right rod and reel, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time, dude. It's all about the proper tackle, balance system. That's what successful jigging is all about. I mean, look at these fish. <laughs> They're all big. They're all fired up. That's a good one. Woo! Nice one. Dude, look at that head on that thing. Look at the head on that is right. Do a great job. Beautiful fish, huh? Killer variety. You don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah. See the line marks too from the jig right there that your line rubbing up? Yeah. That's for, he was battling for his life, man. Very cool. Beautiful. Very, very cool. Mercury engine tap. 
Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Fortress, the world's best anchors. Stronger, faster, lighter. High-tech aluminum alloy makes Fortress anchors the easiest to handle. Precision machining and sharpening results in the fastest setting anchor. Fortress buries deep for the strongest holding power. With eight models from four to 69 pounds, there's a Fortress anchor for you. Fortress, stronger, faster, lighter. Want more power and increased towing capacity? California Customs goes beyond the hitch. Let us transform your truck into the ultimate tow vehicle. Two and four wheel drive, California Customs does it all. Towing accessories and load control systems, lift and leveling kits, custom wheels and tires, performance upgrades, toolboxes and bed covers, plus all of your audio, lighting and security needs. California Customs, let us make your vehicle what you really wanted all along. Smooth, quiet power you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Stop, Tim. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. One on right oh. there, baby. Oh, two on. Another one on. Oh, three on. Three on. Three on. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, dude. Oh, boy. Oh boy. There we go. Just stay separated. Maybe we can get all three of these. Yeah, this oh, is yeah. no bonita. This is no bonita. No. Uh, no. One of the most important things to jig fishing, braid with a mono top shot. We're fishing 30 pound diamond braid and you can see I've got it connected right there to that monofilament top shot at about 30 feet long, which acts as a shock absorber. It helps prevent pulled hooks. I got a jack. Do you? Yep. Nice. Oh, look at that. Pretty Jack. Pretty Jack, dude. Pretty look at Jack. That's a what kind of Jack is that? I don't that? know. It's not an Almaco. No, that's a weird one, dude. I'm not even sure what kind of Jack that is. It's but got that purple is an awesome and like fish. yellow. Look at let that. me take yeah. a look. And that you know it looks again, like a Trevally almost. It does. Yeah. That shows you the variety. Yeah. Oh, you know what I think that is? That's a yellow Jack. Is it? Dude, those are really good eating. Yeah, I know. Really yeah, good yeah. eating. <laughs> you all right there? What are you doing, man? Come on. <laughs> I mean, Mayor, Mayor and me are just waiting for you now. Come on. There he is. I mean, you is got this a, thing you got a cool monster bonita. That's who you got. That thing's got to be 15 pounds. God. That's a big one. Okay. Look at that. That's a beauty. Dude, that's a fun fish to catch on a jig right there. A ton of fun. All right. That's a pretty fish, man. Dude. That's the biggest that that type of jack that I've ever caught. Awesome. You said it's a yellow jack? It's a yellow jack. Look at Look the at purple that. sheen on it. That's sick. Big old yellow fins. Absolutely awesome fish. On a wreck. With the jig in his mouth. Jig in his mouth. Downtown Miami. It worked. There you go. I believe this is called a yellow jack. Not something that you see every day. Dude, that thing just swims through the water like that uses those big fins as wings almost to steer, to help them steer, to gain elevation. Crazy. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, vertical jigging is absolutely awesome. You've watched us out here all day just crushing them. But I'll tell you what, it's really important that you're rigged properly or you're gonna have a frustrating experience. Vertical jigging is no place for inferior tackle. 
You need equipment that's light and comfortable enough for you to jig all day, but also durable enough to handle the stresses that are associated with lots of drag and lots of fish, that's for sure. It all starts with the reel. We're fishing Daiwa Isla size 5000 spinners. You can choose conventional reels as well. It's completely up to you. I happen to prefer the spinners in this application. The reel has to be loaded with braid. That's absolutely essential. We've got these Isla 5000s jam-packed with diamond braid, 30 pound test with a 50 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon top shot. A top shot is crucial. It acts as a shock absorber. It's also much more abrasion resistant than the braid. We're connecting that top shot to the braid with a really simple streamlined connection. I double up the end of my braid with a spider hitch. I attach the top shot with an Albright knot, trim it really close, boom, streamlined in and out of the guides, no problem. So when we're out here vertical jigging, one thing that's very important to keep in mind is choosing the right size jig uh, for the conditions that you're fishing, okay? If you're fishing deeper water, you want to fish a little bit heavier jig, you know, two to 300 grams, that's roughly five to seven ounces, somewhere in there. Um, you know, shallower water, lighter jig, 80 to 150 grams. Uh, by doing that and adjusting, you know, your jig size to where you're fishing, it's, it's going to keep you connected to more fish. So just keep that in mind. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance. Safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. It's your turn to score big. Book a long range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year round. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on! Three on, baby! <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're spending a day vertical jigging and I'll tell you what, we're having an absolute blast. We're fishing aboard our CV370Z. We left Hillsborough Inlet early this morning, ran down to Dade County here. We started fishing some wrecks outside of Government Cut and haul over. And I'll tell you, we've had some really steady, exciting action with big, big bonitas, a variety of jack species, just a lot of fun on these vertical jigs. And we just made a little transition here. We worked our way up the beach. Right now we're off of Howendale and we're fishing a really cool area called Tenneco Towers. There's a deep tower here out in around 190 feet. And then there's a shallower tower at around 110 feet. And I'll tell you what, from the looks of the Furuno Sounder, this spot's just absolutely covered up. These jigs can catch pretty much anything. If it eats a fish, a bait fish, it'll eat the jig. Snappers, groupers, kingfish, tunas, jacks, bonitas for sure, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really believe that if it eats a bait fish, it'll eat a jig. As long as it's, as long as it's moving through the water like it's injured, they'll eat it. I think a lot of guys too, you know, they make the mistake and they try and 
work it too erratically, you know, lifting too it crazy. up three, yeah. four, five feet at a time, yeah, swinging yeah. it. Yeah. You really don't have to, just short little sweeps. Short just quick keep, pumps, man. Short quick pumps, just That's keep it. that rod tip moving and that real handle turning. Yeah. That's a trick, you know, just in sync, keep the rod tip moving and the real handle turning. Otherwise, two minutes and you're done. Because your arms just get tired. Whoa! There you go, like that. Keep Kinda the like rod that. tip moving and the real handle turning. See, as long as it's moving, something's gonna eat it. I'll tell you what, when I first saw these jigs, I was like, what the heck is that thing? Very skeptical. Uh-huh. And it looks like uh, Almaco. Yep. Barely hooked. Hooked enough. You, uh, you hook, hooked that. them pretty yeah, hard, huh? Look, here's a lesson a nice hole in them. See that hole in that lip right there where that hook is? You don't keep the line tight. If you don't keep that line tight, just a little bit of slack, and I mean, look how easy that just came out of there. Literally worked a hole right in there. We came in shore on this shallower Tenneco reef spot here and we scaled down our tackle. We went down to these small little 30 and 35 gram jigs just to, you know, put a little variety into it. It just seemed to be the right balance tackle in this shallower water and we've just been picking off a whole variety of fish and Carlos just hooked up a big cuda on the little jig on mono. I can't even believe he hasn't busted Why him off yet. Why did you have to say that, dude? Come on. But hey, you're doing good so far. But I mean, again, it really goes to show you, we've said it so many times today, talking about the variety. You know, the, the variety of fish and the classes of fish that you can catch on these little jigs is just absolutely mind boggling. And I mean, this jig is probably only two or three inches and that cuda has got to be four or five feet. What? So really, really interesting. Seriously? I didn't even see Dude, him. Dude, you didn't see him? No. Dude, that thing is at least as big as you. No way. He's at least as big as you, Carlos. I think somebody's telling fish Dude, stories again. Telling fish you. Stories. That cuda is stories. huge. That could very well be the largest cuda I have seen today. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Dude, Look, he ate the jig. How awesome is that? I can't believe that. Look at the teeth pretty good on catch that. On that little jig. Dude, that's a great catch on that jig. Yeah, he wants it. They, they want the cuda too? It, yeah, just They're very good. Well, we're going we're gonna to do a, our friends over here a favor. A little bit of a favor. We're going to give them this big barracuda. We've already given them a bonita. So we're going to load them up. They're super excited about it. Let's can I gaff them? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and stick, stick a gaff in, right in his head. head. In his head to save the meat for him. Yep. There you go. There you go. Okay. Got him up. Dude, how about that? Look at that. Look at that jaw right there. That's a big cuda. Uh, that is a big cuda, dude. That's a great catch on that little jig. I mean, look at cuda. that. Look at what look he did to the that. jig, Ugh. okay? Ugh. This jig was brand new, just so you guys know. Not anymore. Not anymore. You know, of course, barracuda is not on our menu. I'll take it Our on the friends jig. over here, they asked us to do them a favor and they want to harvest it, so we're going to go ahead and give it to them. Yeah. Four feet. <laughs> yeah, he's... he's there that's a eat your fish cuda right there. Yeah, that's every time you bring up <laughs> one of those yellow tails that's bitten right in there. half. Eat that's him. This is the guy that bit that this yellow tail in half right half. there. Half, he could eat a whole. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but I know, dude, but when you yeah. bring up those snappers and stuff. Oh, and he just closed his mouth. <laughs> yeah, okay. Be careful of his teeth. Watch his bow. Okay. okay. They're not, they're not. Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, on today's Pro's Tip, I want to talk to you a little bit about wreck fishing. You know, wrecks are fish magnets, there's no doubt about that. They attract a wide array of forage species and in turn all of that bait and the abundance of bait fish and crustaceans attracts a wide variety of bottom fish and midwater predators. Absolutely awesome. And we're fortunate around the entire state of Florida to have an extensive artificial reef system. If you're not sure where to start, visit floridasportfishing.com and check out our reef locator under the resources tab. There's tons of reefs broken up by county. I highly recommend that you load as many spots as you can in a variety of different depths and different distances from your home port. This way when you're out there, you can spend your time fishing and not searching. Once you're on the spot, again, it's really important that you fish the wreck properly. 
what I recommend is position the boat directly over top of the structure and stop. Just drift, give it a few minutes, okay? And establish your exact course over ground and the speed of your drift. Five, 10 minutes and boom, that's all that you need. Now what you wanna do is reposition the boat up current of that particular spot that you want to fish okay and sometimes these fish will hold up on the up current side of the wreck sometimes they'll be directly over top of the wreck and sometimes they'll be on the back side of the wreck and even quite a distance away from the structure and away from the debris field so it's always a good idea to really canvas that entire spot before moving on and i'll tell you what if you do it right it absolutely is really really rewarding Oh, I've demolished them, man. All right, look at this, just to give you an idea. You can fit this dolphin in almost in the palm of my hand, and the jig is about as big as my hand, and this thing went after the jig. Can you say aggressive? Pretty crazy. I'm gonna let him go, though. Are you ready to get hooked up? Whoa! Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Who Rag. Chuck Rollins here, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Bubble Blade 9 inch tapered flex. The reason I think this is the perfect blade for these smaller fish like your panfish, your, your white bass, your crappie, is that it's got a lot of flex, you still got that perfect handle, it's got the nice thumb piece, it's got the little trigger right here. So when your hands are wet, you don't have to worry about that blade sliding out of your hand. It is super sharp right out of the box and that's why I think this is the ideal blade. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all. Surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wanna Be Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Florida Sport Fishing TV utilizes and proudly endorses Salt Life Sport Optics. Ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. BoatOutfitters.com. From replacement parts to hard to find hardware, boat owners and builders turn to BoatOutfitters.com. Dr. Dan's, from lip balm to sunblock, a complete skincare line designed for anglers and boaters. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We are now in a 954, relocated back up here to Broward County and getting crushed again. Lots of action. Got a little black fin tuna that got fatty. chomped by a barracuda and here he comes to finish him off. This blackfin tuna, this little football, met his demise the wrong way. Double hookup, look at that. Both hooks in the corner of the mouth. Good old gypsy jigs. 150 gram, I did the trick. Get him, Carlos, jig him. There you go, big fella. <laughs> what, what do I got? I don't know, dude. Hey, them bonitas are pulling hard today. <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. Might have to go chase this one. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> you yeah. think I'm kidding. Don't hold your breath. Ate my special jig. Yeah, we'll see if you can get that fish and your special jig up here to the surface. You know what, don't say that. Come on, you're holding out my fishing time. You got plenty of line on there, you're doing fine. Really good fish. Yeah. Another perfect example, we talked about it really all day, how these jigs, you know, will catch not only various species, but various size fish, and you're hooked into a sea monster right here. We've got no idea what this is. Just be careful with that drag. Remember, that's 30-pound braid. Diamond braid, that stuff is strong as steel, but... It's pinging. It's pinging. Can, you, can you run this up yeah. a little bit? He's dumping yeah. me, man. There you go. 
Is that your new rod? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we land it. That's AJ Asaurus right there, boy. I don't call it until I see it. Yep. You don't know, you man. You never know. When you caught that big king a little while ago, what did you think it was? I had no you know? idea. You had no idea. You thought yeah. it was a big king. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> We were, <laughs> He's like, no. We didn't know because we were catching a bunch of small tunas. Right. And jacks and runners. And it just came up and slammed the jig. This is what you pray for when you, you hook up into something like this when you're jigging. Thank God for chaos rods. Thank God, right? It's not <laughs> only about the rod. <laughs> the real. The real dude, it's that Daiwa yeah. Isla 5000, you know, matched to that Chaos Rod. It's the 30 pound diamond braid. The whole it's setup. It's the 50 pound diamond presentation leader. It really is, it's the whole balance system. You know, we've said this so many times. Working if the any, drag. Yeah, working yeah. the drag. You know, if any one of those elements is out of sync, could spell disaster. And even when all of those elements are in sync, it's still challenging. That is a monster That's amberjack. Amber wow. Look at the jig, How man. about that? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Dude. Oh. <laughs> That's as big as slob your slob on a jig, baby. <laughs> nice going. Thank God it was you. <laughs> that Great right there job. is an absolute pig. How about that? <laughs> Dude, that <laughs> is a monster. <laughs> Monster amberjack on a jig. I mean, that is a pig game of an over. amberjack. That's yeah, what you, you said. know what? You say game over. Done. Game <laughs> over. Yeah. Congratulations. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit FloridaSportFishing.com and get hooked up.